Oh. oh my god, there we go. Now this is a first. I'm uh, There's a little battle that's starting in Twitter and I'm not gonna waste my time and fighting in Twitter. All oh, this is about bilingualism and school and se seg segregation. Oh, when the French and all that. All right, listen, I'm going to explain one more time what the problem is. One more time. All right. What's happening? The problem is this. 50 years ago, there was even Fredericton was all English. Everything was English. There was, unfortunately, oh, the word nigger, the word frog, the word wagon burner, fruits, those were the minorities. If they dared to speak up, they were beat up. That's the way it was. Another fine example is a lot of French, a lot of Acadians were forced to change to anglicize, anglicize their name from LeBlanc to white, from Brun to brown, from uh, Godet to Godet with two T's, uh, Savoie to Savoy, uh, Boc to Bert. I mean, the list goes on and on. You had to put, change your last name to English to get a job. As those people that were forced to change their name, they should go back to the original name because in a hundred years from now, it's going to be confusing. They're going to realize it was a place of pure racism. But that's right, the Acadians are not black, it's not racism, it was discrimination or whatever. Anyway, now we are caught in an era now that there's still some people that believe frogs are frogs, niggers are niggers, wagon burners are wagon burners, that we're in the era of changes. All right? Now, to turn around and say, well, what you got to do is put the English and French together in one school. Sorry, that's not going to happen. That is never going to happen. That should never happen. The French culture, la culture française, must be preserved. All right? Are you following me? The French language must be preserved. If you have two languages in one school, everybody's going to speak English, and the only time you're going to speak le français will be in the classroom. Okay, do you get that? All right. The buses? Okay, now the only reason this is in court is because we have an arrogant uh, attorney general, minister, former minister of education, uh, Serge Roussel. He's very arrogant. Myself, I can't stand him. He talked to the media. It's a blog. I'm sorry, but I'm going to say it. He was telling the English culture to go fuck themselves. It's in the Constitution. His public relations skill is not good. That's where everything blew up. You need French buses only. All right, we can have some common sense. You don't need to travel 20 miles, miles for two students or three students or five. You should, you know, maybe have a van. Common sense, okay? Now, this era that we're living here right now, we're living in an era of change. Once the old people, like, uh, hey, I'm not a saint. Uh, I hate Quebecers. I mean, <laughs> Quebecois, les maudits Quebecois, I can't stand them. But people like me and other people, once they want to set everybody to be part of this province, then everything will be fine. Now, the language commissioner, there's a, that bitch, I mean, that language commissioner, she had the same attitude as Sarfrousset. The law is the law. 
to have Wayne Grant to lose his job and go around and say, well, every senior bureaucrat must be bilingual. Bullshit. Okay? Je suis acadien, je suis fier d'être acadien, pas de problème. But we have to listen to common sense. Okay? Common sense. Common sense is the pushing this bilingualism too far. It's Moody Québécois arriving here and say, Je suis francophone, like the French francophone school district, anglophone school district. I don't believe in that shit. Put a name that everybody feels welcome. Issues like that, I'm pissed off. But to go around and say, Well, we have to put all the true boat culture to school, the school, the same school, you're wasting your time. That's never, that's never going to happen. Forget that. That must never happen. The French culture must be preserved. If you put it together, those people say, well, if they're together, then everybody will be speaking English and those frogs, you know, those frogs will lose their French. Okay? Now, to my Twitter friends, I'm not going to debate. I'm just going to link this video. Okay? Then I made myself clear. Common sense must prevail. But we live in New Brunswick. Is that going to happen?